can we can we start the session yeah we can start okay. From, from okay sir okay thank you sir Devansh, just give me a thumbs up so that I, I know that I can start. Okay, just a second. If it doesn't. Uh, I think my screen is visible to all. Yeah, visible, ma. Okay. Thank you, sir. I, but uh, so I'm starting. I, Archit Pandey, chair of Aerospace Electronic System and Society, is pleased to welcome you all. It's really nice to see people attending this meeting by taking some precious time out of their busy schedules. Doc, it's a great pleasure to have Dr. V. Jay Prakashan, sir, as a speaker and our IEEE PSIT student and branch counselor, Dr. Aparna Dikshit, to enlighten us with the words of freedom and wisdom. We all have studied soft skills, and we all are aware that to understand anything, we need to learn and apply those things, and IEEE provides you just that. It provides you the professional platform to practice your skills. It gives you perfect space to grow professionally and academically as well as in as well as it provides various societies to tailor fit your interest. Now I would like to call our honorable speaker, Dr. Vijaya Prakashan, sir, who is the professor in the Department of Electronic and Communication Engineering. He is Cisco CNN trained instructor, treasurer of IEEE Hyderabad and was in the Board of Governors of IEEE Product Safety Engineering Society, USA. He is a professionally with a rich mixture of over 12 years of industrial exposure and research activities and 16 years of teaching experience, raring to excel in the field of education and ambition to create a bright, multi-talented, strong, younger generation. Now, uh, under the leadership of the IEEE product safety engineering. Now I would like to call our speaker, Dr. Vijay Prakashan, sir, to uh, share his words of wisdom with us. Yeah, thank you, Archit. Thank you, sir. So can I start the presentation, ma'am? Yes, sir. Please, sir. Yeah. Sir, please. Uh, Aparna, ma'am. Okay. Anyway, we will have a discussion in the end. How many societies are there in PSIT? Yes, sir. So how sure. can I and yeah. you like that? Huh? Okay. <clears throat> so I hope my screen is visible. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you for the opportunity, Aparna ma'am, and the PSIT student branch team. So after long gap, I am again coming into the online mode. So thanks for the technology first. <laughs> so today <clears throat> we can have a discussion with for the what is the benefit of IEEE for the particularly students member and what are the financial supports <clears throat> that we can have for the student branches or society chapters, all the things. So basically, what is our motto? Why we have to join IEEE? Means the benefit is first of all the networking. Let us join the hands together for collaboration and grow together. That is the main motto for the IEEE to join. So basically, the IEEE started founding in 1884 with the name of AIEE, American Institute of Electrical Engineers. Then in 1912, IRE, Institute of Radio Engineers. But after that, 1963 onwards, both the societies are merged. And from the 1963 onwards, it's called as a IEEE. So <clears throat> this is the just overview of the IEEE. So totally there are 10 regions are there. So mostly the region 8 and the 
10 only dominating in terms of membership, activities, student branches, all the way. So basically, what are the benefits? First benefits, the students can engage in. There are four broad categories are there. The student can en enhance their knowledge or networking in the administrative side or technical, managerial, as well as the humanitarian. So these are all the four ways. So any student become the IEEE member, they have to involve in any one of the things, then only their membership, the growth will be benefit. Just to ideally become a member, keep on ideal, that is not useful for the students, even though for the faculty members also. So my request, whoever may be the IEEE member, they have to go in the managerial level, administrative or technical, or some humanitarian related activities. So there are so much of can experience. Students can experience so much things are there. So I am not able to read all the things, right? I can share the slides. So the students, you can share with your students also, ma'am. So they can understand what are the opportunities are available in the IEEE. So overall student member in the globe, which looks totally 42,000, 4,20,000 members. Members means professional members. All over the world, 2,000 student branches. Especially the student members are 1,20,000. Actually, this database is based on the 2021. So, IEEE is available in 100 plus countries. Totally global, 10 plus regions are there. So, 3,90,000 Facebook followers are there in the IEEE. Then, how to establish the society chapters within the student branch? Everybody knows to start the student branch, we have to go with one faculty or two faculty with the six to 12 student members. So, <clears throat> we have to start societies. Normally, many colleges are having very less societies. My request, my request is, we try to enhance many societies because why I am telling Today, engineering means it is a combination of all the departments. There is no segregation. Even mechanical students also can start the robotics and automation society. EMBS societies are there. Many societies, especially for the students, right now, communication society, computer societies, then GRSS. So, these are all the society chapters. Student membership is $1 or $2 like that. So my request, as a student branch counselor, you can start as much as possible student chapters and try to go for the proposals because as a treasurer, I am understanding many proposals are approved by the headquarters. Many, even for example, I can say one or two colleges in Hyderabad, they are getting every year around six to seven lakhs financial support from the society student chapters through the way of proposals. So that is more benefit for the college. So we don't want to wait for the management. So we can generate the fund through the IEEE proposals. We can do the many events. So that is the, my one request. So everyone knows about the student chapter initiation. Finally, with the petition, we have to do. So these are all the IEEE societies are which is available in the one minute. Hey. These are all the IEEE societies which are available in the available for the students and the student branches. So I hope you can know all the society chapters. So based on the interest we can go. So my request to the student branches is you can start more than 15 to 20 societies even one or two colleges many colleges in Hyderabad they are having 26 societies so what is the benefit on the 26 societies see see at the beginning to create the system it is little difficult but once the system is created then we can taste the IEEE benefits for example each and every society cha student chapter, we can have a faculty advisor, then student, chairman, student secretary, treasurer, then student exam members. 
so team of six to seven people student peoples are there we can train them per semester six months once they can organize two to three events so every year if that student team organizing two to three events per semester totally yearly six events are there so imagine if you have a 10 society chapters 10 into 60 60 sorry 10 into 6 totally 60 events are organized in the institution level so another one more documentation once each and every event must be documented so you can create your yearly newsletter or six months newsletter psit newsletter in that what are the society chapters are there who are all the students involved then what are the activities are happened so even you can create your own newsletter the same even details will be uploaded in the l31 so whenever you are going for the next level proposals request through the society chapters for some other events you can get more financial support also even we can't expect sometimes because uh, as per my knowledge as a treasurer in IEEE Madras section as well as Hyderabad section right now, I am watching all the in and out flows. Many colleges are trickily, they are getting minimum 1000 US dollar from each society per year. So imagine how the IEEE funds will be available to the students branches as well as the student chapters. So that is my request. So try to maximize the number of IEEE societies to get the more benefits. So these are all the IEEE councils. So IEEE Sensor Council, even through that only we are have an opportunity to meet Aburna ma'am. So that is the reason we are today we are discussing. So WIE Life Member Affinity Group. Life Member Affinity Group will be maybe in section level not in the college level, but you can do IEEE Young Professional, Women in Engineering. These are all the two major backbone for the student branches. But even though you can start the Nano Council, Sensors Council, right? So what are the membership benefits of the students? So many students, they are not knowing about the benefits, but based on the some oral recommendations by the faculty or faculty friends they are started journey with the IEEE but if they are understanding the benefits what are the benefits are available they can enjoy because in our Hyderabad there are a student network team is there there is a more competition also there sir I am volunteering this event I am volunteering that this event so that much of competition among the student branches are there some students are taking care of the banner design certificate design so many opportunities are that they are doing everything in perfect so we have to create like those people's students and we have to encourage them to become the leader so another way the benefits what are the benefits now the first benefit is staying current with the fast changing world of technology why we have to stay in current see i don't know every students whether with their nose or not if the member, if you are a member, you can have a IEEE Spectrum magazine. Even though when you are studying in your textbook, some of the places you are studying IEEE standards, IEEE standards, wired standard, wireless standard, IEEE 802.3, wireless communication standard, IEEE 802.11, wireless communication standards. So how these standards are made? So IEEE Spectrum magazine, consist of the latest technology <clears throat> which is not available in any newspapers or any places so once the student become the member they are staying current with the fast growing technology they can enjoy the spectrum magazine the institute newsletter also then potential magazine then finally there is a IEEE explorer IEEE explorer everybody knows all the conference papers are published in the IEEE Explorer website. So if you are keeping in the your name in the Google, your paper will be coming. So that is a many students they are feeling happy when they are publishing the paper in the <coughs> IEEE. 
then there is a discount also will be there normally even though right now IEEE students there is a future 50 coupon code is available those who are all interested to be the member for new there is a future 50 code will be there so normally the student has to pay 27 us dollar but with the future 50 code with the 13.5 dollars you can be the member even though for faculty also new faculty member professional member there is a 30 percentage sorry 30 us dollar discount is right now available so instead of 81 dollars 51 dollars enough to pay to become the member similarly you can offer the IEEE conference discount also i'm all put together one minute yeah so volunteering you can do the volunteering that build your leadership skills and networking opportunities similarly there is a my IEEE see today in the technology scenario every student are in facebook linkedin like that there is a my IEEE looks like a facebook also will be there so the students can network through the my IEEE also so i hope this is the things i forgot these are all the additional benefits IEEE member digital library proceedings of the IEEE conference attendance at reduced rates IEEE society membership so even though professional empowering members to build and own their careers and venues to give back to the society so whatever you are learning as a professional student member you can give it back to the society also then IEEE job site career alert continuous in education partnership program then for especially students many awards and scholarship programs are there i don't know whether you guys are using or not see in computer society i will show many awards are there so my request is in IEEE.org website try to go through in each and every points many opportunities awards are there so but for those awards what you have to do the your section leaders has to endorse for the next level so kindly have a very close relationship with the section level try to maximize your awards as well as the scholarship even though any student member is publishing a paper in international conference suppose in abroad normally 10,000 rupees for travel grant each and every section is supporting technique for the financial support of travel so it, this is applicable to the faculty community also so try to maximize your supports from your section so this is the member discount reduced rates so additional benefits are financial services insurance even though in IEEE insurance also they started last two to three years i hope so home and office services travel services but the things are very depends upon the country to country so another one more for example what my advice students are paying to thousand thousand something for the member main IEEE member benefit then they are paying one dollar or five dollars depends upon the society chapters in addition to that i am my advice is try to go for one or two IEEE conference paper publications so what is the benefit means if you are publishing a conference paper definitely through the registration IEEE student member you are getting thousand or thousand five hundred discount so whatever you are invested in the IEEE to become the student member that amount will be refunded in the discount a different way so that is the way you can increase your profile and normally whenever you are doing any activities you have to think about the return on investment what you are spent see one one way you are enjoying the volunteering activities but at the same time what are the benefits are available in the IEEE try to utilize if you are not utilizing it is waste so all over the world every year more than 350 conferences if you take India many conferences are going on so even though if you are attending the conference you can meet many people's other state other section so you can create the networking 
So these are all the IEEE resources which is available 24 by 7. My IEEE is an interactive web portal exclusive to the IEEE members. So I'm not in a position to read all the things IEEE TV, IEEE member net, IEEE potential magazines, IEEE explorer that already I told, even IEEE resume lab also there. It's an online service that allows IEEE members to develop your resume or curriculum by using a wide array of resume templates. So, so many templates are there. Then another one more is a IEEE email alias. This is the very prestigious one for the each and every student as well as the faculty. See, any student this member is, normally what we are doing, xyz at gmail.com is a mail ID. You just imagine xyz at iwd.org domain, you are having a mail ID that shows your professionalism. So whenever you are applying iwd.org, that brand will looks and gives more weightage for your future. A simple example I will tell you in the practical experience I faced. See, normally in one XY, XYZ engineering college, one student discontinued and he rejoined third year. Normally, what we can think, normally as a faculty community, rejoining student means the opinion is not up to the mark. But that student rejoined and third year and fourth year, he did one project. Through that project, he targeted, he submitted that project in the IEEE 1X competition. Now that fellow is a studying and doing a startup in USA because of that project only. And he gained many contacts. He made the startup with the help of IEEE and he's, he's in top level in USA. I heard that from one Tamil Nadu college. So the way we are utilizing the IEEE that making you as a rich, rich means in the professional way. Okay. So IEEE discounts, Spectrum Magazine, Career Alerts, Job Sites. So these are all the resources available for the IEEE students. Then, once you become the member, you are doing a volunteer now, then you have to give back to the society also. So you can do the mentoring, volunteering, right? So then you can feel the enjoyment. See, sir, how can I do volunteering? See, nowadays we are in India, so many rural government schools are there. My request, you student members, you make a team. You make a team, four members, one team. You just suppose computer science students, what you can do, you take one CPU to the government school. You can tell to them how computer is working, how what are the parts of computer, CPU, motherboard. You just open the computer and tell the students. 8th standard or 9th standard or 7th standard students. So what, what will happen? 20 to 30 minutes you can explain this is computer, what are the things are available, how computer is working because future is without device or computer, nothing is there. So you can educate the school students. At the same time, after the 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you can do one small drawing competition you can give price the pencil box or something, whatever it is. Entire event, hardly 500 to 1000 rupees. After the completion of the event, you can get your appreciation letter of appreciation letter from your college director or principal so that you can add in your profile also. So what will happen in the school students level? The students are the school students also understand from PSIT from Anna or Akka, they came, they thought something. So they feel also happy. Ma'am, why is this audible? Aparna, ma'am? Yes. Why is this audible? Everything okay, now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything is audible. Okay, no, okay. Thank you. So this is the way you can do. So team of peoples, you can go for the social. See, the, I can say this is a social way you can communicate with the school students. So it is a direct or indirect way of you are promoting your college brand name also. So many things you can do like this. Even, even you can just science related some YouTube videos you can download how heart is working or how human body is working. 
so school students whatever they want like that you can impress some way right so these are all the humanitarians related activities you can do so everything you can note it down in the your newsletters that is very very important so find one day after one year for example 2022 psit student branch is there you can have a one newsletter with all the things that is a good memory for the future also so next 2023 new student team is coming they can take this is a startup point for them so that is the way documentation will help you so i triple collaborate i triple collaborate builds upon these futures and offers more ways to access information and people so different professional identity through your professional profile and i triple member batching access the i triple member directory a listing of 250000 members are there through the i triple member only searching criteria discover other members in your local section or region participate in IEEE mentoring program i think uh aparna ma'am actually there is a one IEEE mentoring program will be going on that means as a faculty community we can take a training vivo lt volt training normally they are telling volunteer learning training program like that so you talk with your section you try to become volt trained instructors or trained member so that will give more benefits to collaborate with the section as well as the students members yes sir yes. sir can we collaborate as a student branch yeah you can do madam you can talk to the section level ma'am because right now six students are selected from hyderabad section to uh -huh. get the training of volt okay so only thing you must have a very close association with this section. Yeah, we will, sure. We, we have a discussion, ma'am. Many things are there. So that we will make a oral communication also, we both. Huh? Okay, okay. Sure, sure, sure. So take advantage of group by creating more groups with a larger number of participants per group. So that's why I told, na, if you are creating if you are creating a more society chapters for example 10 society chapters each society chapter one faculty six students or 10 students so number of team will be more increases number of activities improving so everything will be become more better way so personalized certificate of IEEE membership available for pdf download and display refreshed annually these are all the things IEEE collaborate then student competitions and, and scholarships. I hope everyone knows about IEEE Extreme Competition. So this is the 24 hours programming competition. So as a team of students, they can learn, they can compete. Sometimes you can win the prizes also. So our student community doesn't have, we don't think whether they are having a knowledge or not. But once if you go for the competitions, then you can understand very easily how the competitions are there. So more informations are available in IEEE.org slash extreme. Okay. So these are all the student grants or fellowship grants. So this is the each and every societies, IEEE Computational Intelligence Society Conference Travel Grant, then Summer Research Grant, IEEE Computer Society Mervin Scholarship. See here. IEEE Computational Intelligence Society Summer Research Grant 1000 to 4000 US dollars. Even for Computer Society Mervin Scholarship up to 20 US dollar to 20,000. Yeah, one minute. 7.30. So similarly, Dielectric and Electrical Insulation Society Graduate Student Fellowship IEEE Electron Devices Society Graduate Student Fellowship, IEEE EPS PhD Fellowship, then James Cloda Memorial Scholarship, IEEE Life Member Fellowship in Electrical History, IEEE Master Students Fellowship. So all the details are available in the IEEE.org. Only thing we have, we need to look into the things in a passion way. 
Similarly, microwave theory and techniques, society graduate fellowship, IEEE nuclear and plasma sciences, society graduate scholarship award, IEEE power and energy society scholarship plus program. So many societies are offering the grants, some of the things, whatever we are last two, three slides. These are all the society chapters are supporting many things. Even, even very frankly, I can say as a treasurer, I am watching all the transactions. That's the reason, one of the major reason I am sharing everything with you peoples. Even yesterday, for example, one college, 3.29 lakhs, they got through, they got the proposal through IEEE Signal Processing Society for conducting a two-day event, mission learning related activities. So, like that communication society, all the society chapters are available. Only thing we have to be ready with the proposals. We have to apply through the online. That is the way. So, IEEE Foundation Student Grants so there are many things are there. I'm not in a position to read all the things. Spoken language processing student grant program, Harold Sobel student grant program. So many things I will give it to you. So young professional affinity group. This is the major, major one affinity group in IEEE. You can collaborate many student branches. Uh, actually coming October 7, 8, 9, there is a All India Young Professional Women in Engineering Congress is happening in Pune. So I don't know whether from PSIT anybody registered or not. Ma'am, anybody registered? Aparna, ma'am? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I hope you're aware that now, 7, 8, 9. In Pune, there is an All India YP WAE Congress is going on. Yes, sir. Uh, but the problem is that I am actually suffering from my is uh, back sprain, right? So actually, I am suggested to take rest completely. I was selected there, but this is the problem only. And no problem. another thing uh, is, uh, yeah, uh, we have actually announced our uh, DL uh, lecture also under uh, uh, Censor Council and which is uh, scheduled on uh, uh, 12, uh, sorry, 11th of October. So this is a two day event, seasonal, uh, seasoning school, 10th and 11th. We have applied for funding also, $1,000. So we are just hoping for the best, like uh, if we got selected there, but DL is approved uh, through uh, Censor Council. So I am uh, right now I'm total bed rest. Uh, oh, I was suggested by doctor. So, <laughs> so this is a major problem. I can, I can sir participate, but online. If uh, yeah, they yeah. allow me to participate online, so I will participate there. Yeah, you try your team, ma'am, faculty as well as student team. You can develop, ma'am. That yes, is much sir. better because yeah. all the places you cannot go, and uh, but you have a contact and uh, create a team, madam. That is a better way. Yeah, yeah, I have created, but uh, the thing is actually uh, right now uh, the session is going on, right? Uh, like in uh, second year, uh, third year, and final year. So no first year is yet uh, uh, come. Yeah. Uh, so they will be coming in the month of November. Uh, but it's still uh, the problem is uh, most of the faculty members are engaged in classes, trainings, right? So yeah. that's why this is happening soon. Right. Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, we basically distribute all these events to other faculty members. They usually, yeah. yeah. Even, ma'am, even I understand because it's a team <laughs> effort. Only Aparna cannot do all the things. No, no, nothing, nothing. Yeah, that, that is the main problem. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, if time permits, we'll meet yeah. one time. And, uh, you, your head of the institutions has to understand the benefit of IEEE then yes definitely definitely yeah. there in your institute yes but so we uh, are we are trying to send some other person also if uh, they will allow some other person if they will get free to so uh, they will attend okay yeah. even even nowadays students also very good madam we can train the students 
even yeah. if needed even if needed if you have a some set of student guru we can have one more discussion through online also i am ready no problem because like a question answer session okay yes. okay okay so, so i think we would like to connect online so mm -hmm. that a student will be participating from our institute here and they will listen so they yeah. can uh, have some uh, awareness uh, about IEEE membership and all uh, societies and councils whatever uh, you have suggested here that's a good idea yeah okay ma'am okay so beyond IEEE there is a step program Student Transition and Elevation Partnership Program developed by IEEE to facilitate the transition from student member to young professional by introducing opportunities and benefits of IEEE membership at the start of the career. See, what is a STEP program means once you are the graduate student, after four years, after two to three years, you can join as a IEEE as a young professional, right? So there are three parts will be there even if you are studying you are the student member then you become the young professional member then you can become the professional member okay so similar to IEEE student branches YP affinity groups also regionally based organization that promote networking from local level and beyond also so there is a you volunteering known as micro volunteering is a program designed to allow you flexible short-term volunteering engagements also so only thing you try to become a member try to associate with any society chapters and try to go with your section by volunteering some levels so that will improve your career as well as volunteer positions so so many signature events there is a IEEE Young Professional signature event are put on to the increase the visibility of IEEE Young Professionals at large global events. So to become a be part of this as an organizer or attendee. Similarly, you are getting a seed funding from the YP Affinity Group also. So there is another one SPAAS Student Professional Awareness Activities. So these are all some focus areas of SPAA, career development, professional integrity, personal skills, how to develop engineers and the public policy, the practice of innovation, the art of communication, humanitarian grant challenges. So what are the benefits to the students? Enhance non-technical skills also. Expand your personal networks, add results to resume, get better job opportunities, then become lifelong IEEE member. So these are all some of the student branch awards. So many things are there. Student Enterprise Award, Larry Wilson Regional Student Activities, IEEE Regional Extremely Student Branch Awards, Outstanding Branch Counselor and Advisor Award. So many things are there. So these are all the funds we can get. We are getting the student branch rebate through WIA site program, section funding, WIE formation. So many things are there. Many opportunities are available to get the funds also. So membership development kits. I hope in the website you can look into that. There is a back keychain, some logos, some flags. These are all the membership development kits, but this is available. I hope with the prices only. So stay with the current IEEE officer reporting, activity reporting, student benefits, webinar trainings, meeting submission, L31. So all the many things, many important things are available in this web links. You can go through it. So this is the IEEE Region 10 funding portal opportunities. You can go through the how to get the IEEE R10 funds. So this, you know, establishing student chapter within your student branch, what to do. So this is the petition link. So if are creating a new society chapters. So contact IEEE student services, Facebook pages, email, Twitter, all the things. So this is the IEEE art and student activity committees. Contact links. 
so finally this is the IEEE region 10 student activity committee so you can look into the people so those who are leading the team you can talk to them to create a more close relationship with them also so this is the IEEE India Council student coordination team so many students also there all the all the students this completely the student members only so at least one or two PSIT student also can be in the IEEE India Council team so you can collaborate with the more high eminent peoples you can learn and at the same time you can give the suggestions to your next level student community also okay so with this I am ending my session thank you thank you sir uh, I think it couldn't be said in a better way so I explained it very well uh, now if anyone would have any questions uh, they are free they are free to ask uh, in the chat box so if anyone is having any questions please so all our student members Archit yes sir most of us are uh, so it is the awareness type, so some are not. Most of us are. Okay. Yeah, ma'am, tell me, ma'am. Yes, sir. Actually, sir, we have 100 plus student in under IEEE. So uh, we have actually uh, branches uh, uh, like uh, computer science and some elite branches of computer science like uh, cyber security, Internet of Things, information technology, and uh, data science, okay, AI and AI ML combination. So, uh, and uh, AI itself. So, uh, basically, we have a good number of students also. But right now, mm -hmm. actually, students have a mindset like we must know only coding and uh, uh, get job to some uh, uh, renowned companies like uh, Infosys and some like... Uh, Flipkart, Amazon, right, and get higher package. They just only concentrate on that. So I think there is no engineering. Uh, you are using just only coding skills, but new, we need to explore our engineering here. So in, in spite of all these, uh, yes. our student uh, have worked on some projects also. Okay, so we have uh, mm -hmm. picked some like uh, five to six uh, project, uh, our uh, premium projects. So we invested some money also some fund to in these projects and these all these projects are like uh, five to six thousand cost like uh, um, mm -hmm. students have developed uh, archit has uh, developed archit and his team has developed uh, uh rover and uh, one of the team of uh, okay. they are not present here they have developed uh, ishita is here uh, so they are developing uh, uh, uh ishita what are you developing can you please explain? Ishita? Drone, I think. Yes. And uh, one of the team actually is working on uh, um, health band of animals. Uh, recently, uh, we can see uh, the health issues of all cows uh, in entire world. Okay. So, lumpy virus. So, we have developed uh, these also and uh, one of the team is developing a, a helmet for the um, like frontline workers who are working on mines or cv systems because normally uh, we are most here to like uh, 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 labors are no more just because of uh, toxic gases when they enter into the pit inside so basically they no more so this is the these are the major problems which were subjected in a, and pushed in a smart india hackathon also so we uh, basically pushed uh, some problem and they have successfully completed uh, and there's still some of the projects are going on and one of the uh, pilot projects that we have already developed that is oxygen concentrator okay so mm -hmm. we made actually 5 lpm 10 lpm and 15 lpm oxygen concentrator and uh, we took a uh, like a fund opportunity from hac sigst 
okay and uh, that is from mm -hmm. uh, call for proposal okay so it is uh, it was basically received uh, by us in 2021 and the project was sanjeevini uh, oxygen concentrator so this was actually a very cheap oxygen concentrator in entire india that our team has developed and our team has nice. developed the uh, sanitary napkin vending machine and incinerator so uh, you were talking about some societies actually uh, we have a little uh, uh, number of uh, societies and councils and affinity group so in this uh, actually ias computer uh, society and uh, robotic society aess recently opened and power yeah. energy society sigst also and uh, then even, even you have a signal processing also right ma'am yeah sorry sir signal processing sps no we do not have actually okay okay yeah. no ma'am whatever society is available inform the students to go into the particular society websites there yeah. is a call for proposals or some summer school winter school like our sensor council yes you, you inform the students to go through that see you no need to go behind the faculty also see once they started the societies only thing two weeks once or three weeks once you can have a students team meeting so students can do much better way madam yes definitely that is a, i hope uh, because they are young only people. thing motivation is yes yes sir yes sir yes sir. because faculties are full tight packed with the some workload or whatever publication so many things are there yeah even students also like you said we cannot concentrate on fourth year but yes. fourth year students will be there but the second year and third year students you can concentrate and you can mold them so yes. even whatever you are telling all the projects even you can watch the all the emails which you are re received from r10 or india council level action council level any project competitions or anything related to come you can post to the force the students to submit there so yes. many opportunities are available even for example last year uh, our student branch uh, low cost ventilator we got 400 us dollar price okay sir the, we received uh, i am one of the mentor our four students are received 400 us dollar see money is less only but yes. something we are getting from the i now yeah that uh, keeps important so that will give a good yes sir yes sir yes yeah. sir yes sir so sir uh, actually yeah, we can collaborate yes sir sure sure, sure. Please. Okay, uh, sir, I have a question of mine. Sir, uh, can you uh, explain yeah, or? Uh, yes, sir. Sir, can you explain or highlight in like the boundaries to which coding, uh, coding is important? How can we maintain a balance between coding and real engineering? See, engineering is not just about coding. We have to be innovative. We need to, if we need to solve the problem of society, we have to be innovative. Can you explain the boundary yeah. or like how coding is important and to what extent? Thank you, sir. See, Archid, Archid, I very frankly, I am telling because I am 12 years industry right now, 17 years in teaching. The trend is created by some way, only the computer science will be the dominating all the entire world. Not like that. See, core engineering is also will become boom within a very short, short period of time. But what is the problem with the students mentality means uh, Amazon like that only I can know the coding, I can get a higher job. See, there are two things are there. See, even mechanical students also can go in computer science field. He can he can do coding or whatever testing like that for just 30,000 or 40,000 per month. But only one thing is peace of mind ourself thinking has to be important. My advice to the students, present scenario, whatever the department, some four domains are dominating everything. First of all, first domain is networking. Because engineering student, you are which department, Arshit? Sir, I am from CSAIML, Specialization in Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. Okay, okay. So my advice is, see, without a device, is it possible to live in future? Without the device means the device may be a mobile or laptop or desktop. 
no so without any electronic gadget it's not possible where we will code on no. okay as a engineering student as a engineering student whether the student is knowing about how this device is working so most of us are working how data is traveling from one device to another device no so most of us don't Do know, know because we all are like uh, indulge in coding and everything so it's yes been... so see now only coding is not advisable because future trend will vary because you just imagine how many engineering colleges are there how many engineers coding peoples are coming out how they are surviving see there are based on the student mentality only the survival i have enough 30000 is enough i am doing regular routine coding work that is different but some passion students are there right so my advice the any student has to understand basic networking how device is working how data traveling from one device to another device minimum next is second level how the data is stored in the cloud so now you have to understand about the cloud computing then how data will be secured so cyber security is a next level so these minimum fundamentals are needed for every student then parallelly any one domain you can enhance the coding so coding only c c plus you can have a job but whether you have a piece of mind or 100 percentage job satisfaction that is a question mark Okay, right or wrong? Yes, sir. So uh, that's why. But uh, students are all all the students. All the students are going behind only coding, good only. But there is a, some limitations are there. Okay. Yes, so, so my that's... advice: concentrate on subjects. You can learn whatever it is, but whatever the syllabus available is not sufficient for you. You have to learn many things as extra only. I understand. because see tech, there is a gap between the industry and the institute also what are you are studying different in industry okay right yes sir so that's why our, our student branch counselor dr aparna dikshit ma'am uh, has been mentoring us uh, to like uh, to do real engineering that's why we opted on like the project of rover uh, we have um, successfully made a rover it's like very basic we are controlling it from the phone from wifi and not and so it's very simple we didn't have we haven't applied any kind of sensors on it okay but i have that's a future one thing but we started yes sir mm-hmm. yes sir arshit do you, your college having any aws academy cyber security palo academy like that academy courses uh, sir right now uh, this year uh, some uh, this year a new branch is created for for cyber security uh, we are going to be like having some students in cyber no, security no, no, no. in the first year no. arshid arshid one minute one minute yes sir i am not talking about the cyber security aml departments see uh, for example aws academy aws academy means what the, what the industry needs that uh, courses will be available in the aws academy cyber security palo alto is a company they are having a academy aparna ma'am whether like this academies are available in college no these uh, academies are not uh, available in our college but you may suggest if we could do some work in collaboration that will be good yeah ma'am one thing i will do i will send a one contact number or email so actually in our srinidhi college i started seven academies what are the academy means cisco networking academy aws academy cyber security palo alto juniper networking and cloud blue prism academy what is the role of all these academies na you know aws is completely cloud cisco is networking cyber security palo alto so these are all the academies training the instructors they have some certain value added courses that courses can be taken by the students of your college so through that the students can learn something extra apart from the curriculum arshit are you able to understand this what i am telling yes sir yes sir sir uh, i am i am able to understand so um, madam i will send 
I will share the proposals in your mail. Uh, yes, so sir. Try sure. to contact that company, Edge Skills Foundation. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. So you talk to them. Right, sir. Right. Create. So this is the best one because in my college, 22 years, they are not having anything, but now many students are doing many courses. Okay, sir. So okay, sir. like uh, Arshit told. Every semester in my college, every semester the students are doing each and every one one course. So okay. if the second year, third year means per semester one course now within before going out of BE, BTAC, five to six courses they are learning extra. Okay. So okay. all the things are two credits. AICT is giving the credit also. Okay. Okay, sir. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, sir. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Okay, sir. I will suggest him, and uh, once you uh, give me number or uh, contact number and mail ID, I will uh, uh, talk to them uh, uh, via you. So that will be more uh, beneficial for the student. So, uh, thank you, sir. Definitely. Thank you, Any sir. Any more questions? Thank you. Archit, I, I, I don't think so. Uh, sir yeah. explained it very well, so I don't think any questions are remaining. So at the end, thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am, uh, for sharing your words of wisdom. Now, I would like to call uh, Dr. Aparna Dixit, ma'am, uh, to honor our speaker for his valuable time and present with a memento of token of appreciation and gratitude for his word of wisdom. Yes. Okay. Uh, good evening to all of you. I deem it uh, a great uh, honor and privilege to propose a vote of thanks on this uh, memorable uh, IEEE day. This is the day one of uh, celebration of uh, IEEE day. So uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank our special speaker, Professor Jaya Prakashan, sir, who despite his busy schedule, uh, has found uh, time to grace this uh, event, this occasion. And I also express my heartfelt thanks to our uh, honorable director, Professor Sanjeev Kumar Bhalla, sir, honorable chairman, sir, Mr. Pranveer Singh, I thank all the invitees present here who have worked hard to ensure that this occasion becomes a memorable success. Last but not the least, I thank you all members of IEEE for your cooperation in making this session a resounding success. So first of all, I would like to uh, say something about uh, IEEE Day. Happy IEEE Day. We have to celebrate uh, uh, from 1 to 10th October, so day 1. We have celebrated with our uh, renowned professor, uh, we, Jay Prakashan, sir. So uh, already, um, sir has shared a lot of uh, uh, beneficial uh, ways to motivate uh, our student branch or a student, those who are not a member of IEEE. So they will be now aware and uh, will take membership. And uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, we have sir established in the year of 2018. Okay, so that time actually that was very difficult to take uh, eight or ten students. Uh, so, but in uh, four year we have done a lot of things. So our branch is a uh, uh, top five active branches under UP section, and uh, we are getting some uh, little funds like uh, region from region ten just because of uh, our uh, performance. So we are getting little, little funds from there. And uh, we got a seed fund also and some uh, uh, fund uh, from the call for proposal on that site, SIGST, uh, for uh, incinerator, uh, senator napkin incinerator, that was uh, $200. And our student have also uh, received some funds recently, Anurag, uh, who is the chair of a student branch, Anurag and Prachi uh, both have uh, awarded by best uh, paper award for uh, Y affinity group under region 10. So they will be receiving $200 from region 10 and uh, um, some e-certificate also. And uh, uh, some of the student have already awarded by some $200 and $100 and $500 for uh, oxygen concentrator project also. So hopefully what you have suggested uh, to take participation in different uh, societies and uh, 
like uh, councils, uh, just by looking their website opportunities for the student uh, student members. So we will be uh, soon applying for the fund for the student what they have done uh, recently in these uh, five to six projects. So hopefully, uh, if we could if we could have some mentorship uh, uh, of you, like uh, if you could mentor uh, our. Uh, a student in any project so that will be also great of us yeah we will do ma'am we will try to do yes sir yes sir uh, so we are waiting for your collaboration if we could uh, plan some activity under your collaboration so that will be also good hopefully we will be planning uh, actually for uh, uh, some five day workshop uh, it may be offline but uh, i'm not uh, I'm sure about offline we can we could plan or not so but I online I am very sure about this uh, event so what you were suggesting in the month of November so according to your availability we will plan that so please suggest her okay. okay sir thank you sir uh, can we have a thank group you. photo so I'm uh, this is my humble request to all of you please open your uh, video so that we can capture this uh, memorable moment of the celebration of IEEE Day and uh, awareness uh, uh, given by Professor Jaya Prakashan, sir. Thank you so much. Peace. Thank you, sir. Someone is here to capture this moment or not? Arjun? Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay. Devansh and uh, Brunil, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Ma'am, uh, we have uh, forwarded the feedback form. I hope that you all go through it. Thank you. Yes. So, thank you for the event and it. thanks for making thank you, it is a success. It's it, the first it's the first day of IEEE day and thanks for making it a success for all of the people present over here. I can't show I don't have words to show my gratitude for the event. Thank you. Thank you. ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now I think we should Bye. commence the meeting. Thank you, sir. So I'm uh, keenly waiting for your uh, uh, collaboration and your mentorship for our branch or some project. So we as students are also waiting to collaborate with you. Yes. I hope it would be a game changer. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you so much.